good morning. It's the 13th <laughs> of December and I've just edited as you've seen and I thought today I would show you how to do the frill on the sock. Sorry, I've not been up long and I'm not dressed and ready but hey ho. Yes, so I thought I would show you how I crochet the frill on the sock. Um, that's what I'm going to show you next. Um, I'm going to do it up at the desk with the laptop um, rendering, exporting, whatever. Um, it's still very snowy out there. I don't know if you can see. If it will... Yeah, it's still very snowy. Um, there's lots of pictures on um, Facebook saying it's really icy today as well. Um, we've had no more snow. It's just not gone away yet. <laughs> um, We've actually turned our storage heater off last night, um, obviously because I got the, another heater. So, little backstory ish. When before we was go well before we was going away, before we went away, um, our electric we got a smart meter. Our electric was showing between sort of ninety p and a pound when we got up, because we do have a um, hot water tank that is on Econ Economy 7, warms up overnight, and uh, it was coming up about 90, between 90p and a pound, if not a little bit more, and then with the storage heater on, um, it's, it, it, I was waking up to like two pound something, um, which I don't know if it's right or not, uh, but it's, that's a lot. Now yesterday we used five pound something in electric. Um, I can't remember how much it was now. Five pound, because at twelve o'clock it resets, obviously for the next day. Um, we've never ever used that much electric before, so yeah, it was a little bit ridiculous. And I'm finding the storage heater isn't actually warming up the flat completely. Like previously, it's warmed up so much that we're so hot in the morning. But I don't know whether that's because it's so cold outside. Anyway, so last night I turned the heater off because I'm thinking well, we've got two heaters now. I've got one on in here. I've put one on in, in the hallway, um, the one that is only one bar. And I've woke up this morning with no heating on overnight. I've put them on as I've got up. And it weren't really that cold. Um, and I've obviously put them on now just to warm up a little bit and then I'll turn them off. And I've woke up to the electric being on 97p. Um, so, yeah, I don't think we'll be using the storage heater. <laughs> um, I think we'll be using these little halogen heaters. Um, because obviously they're not going to be on all day long. And we're just going to put them on as and when we need them. So, and I'm going to live in this. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I couldn't believe it. I would just... That one little storage heater, we we do have another storage heater that is supposed to be behind this desk, but Ian took it away, it's now under our bed. Obviously we're in a rented accommodation, um, or we rent the flat, so we can't just take it away and remove it completely. Um, so that will go back if and when we ever move out, it will go back there. Um, but can you imagine if we had two on? We would easily use like eight pound a day, surely. <laughs> I don't know. But we never really had this one on in here anyway. We used to have them both on at the beginning, but really low. And then we decided we don't really need the one on in here. We just need the one on the, in the hallway because that does warm up the whole flat. Anyway, to say, I think the route that we're going down with these heaters might be the best way. Anyway, let's get the yarn and the hook and I will show you how to crochet a frill. It'll probably be more interesting than talking about heating an electric. <laughs> so here is my sock. I'm using a 2.5 millimeter hook. You can use any hook size that you like, obviously. I have started, um, so I've just done a slip knot on my hook. I've done a slip stitch into the one, one of the garter bands. I've chained two, I've slipped one garter bump and then slip stitched into the next. 
I've chained two, slip one garter bump and slip stitched into the next. I'm not using single crochets at the moment, US terms, I'm just using slip stitches to make it quite tight to, to the actual sock. Um, obviously you can do this in any way that you want. If you want a big ruffle then you can um, probably do single crochets and you can make, you can skip more of the garter bumps. Um, afterwards you can put more into your gaps um, but I'll just quickly show you a few. So you chain two and then skip one. So this is the one that I'm skipping here and then this one here I am just slipping. Chain two, skip one, slip into that one there. Right, I'm gonna f oh, finish the round and I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the round. Okay, I'm at the end of the round and you might have one stitch left over, you might not. Um, it's gonna be hidden in the ruffle so even if you have to slip a little bit, um, it should be fine. So then I just slip stitch again into the first gap. So the first chain two gap here. So you've got lots of gaps. Um, you can double crochet. I'm using US terms obviously. You can double crochet, single crochet, however you want around this to make it how you want. You could even like single crochet one, do two double crochet and a single crochet to make it more of a um, petal shape. Um, however you want, it's just, this is just a setup row and then from there you do as and what you like. <laughs> I'm probably just going to do um, single crochets all the way around. Um, that's how I did this one. So here's one I made earlier. Uh, this is the first one that I did and I just used single crochets all the way round to give me this ruffled effect. Um, and I really like it. And I do want to do a pair of socks that are uh, that have bigger ruffles um, just to see what it's like. I might even do that on this one. So I might do double crochets on this one and we can see the difference. So I've shown you the setup round um, and now it's just a case of doing it how you like. So you can see here, if I pull it down a little bit, the setup round which is pulling them, them um, garter, that garter row bumps out a little bit but like I say it's hidden by the ruffle. So let me do some double crochet stitches around this and I'll show you what that looks like compared to the single crochet. So I haven't finished the round but this is what this ruffle looks like um, and this is double knit stitches and I've done five, uh, not double knit, double crochet stitches in each um, chain space and that will get more um, wavy the more that I do. Um, as you can see here it's more wavy and then once more's there it will, <laughs> you get the drift. Um, so single crochets make it look like this and uh, it's very small and then double crochets make it a little bit bigger and you could even do triple, you could do, uh, is it double triple? Um, you could do as many as you want, you can do it as, as long as you want <laughs> um, but obviously bearing in mind you will use more yarn um, but I just really like it so that's how I do my ruffle I'm gonna carry on and do both socks and I'll show you what they look like when they're finished so the sock is all done, uh, so this is the first one I haven't um, weaved in my ends or anything yet, I've just literally cut the yarn so this is what it looks like haven't like I said haven't weaved in ends but I have put one on the sock blocker so you can see so this is what it looks like and then what I'm gonna do is just weave in these ends um, and I have put the other one 
on a blocker just so you can see the difference in size um, so this is the double crochet single crochet I really like them both um, and next time I might try a triple crochet treble crochet not triple treble <laughs> um, or I might try um, doing a double like this but then doing another round with single crochets like two in every stitch maybe um, I'm not going to do that now but that might be in the future when I do another pair of socks um, I'm really pleased with them and I'm glad that I've actually got them done now um, the whole point of me um, knitting the garter band on holiday was to come back and show you how I do the ruffle so I'm really pleased with that um, I've just been watching the knit girls and uploading the video and stuff um, I really like that I've got this light here now so I can maybe do more videos I don't know if, if there's anything you want to see uh, let me know in the comments below uh, I know a lot of people say oh I'd li like to know how to knit socks and stuff um, I'm not brilliant at tutorials you could probably tell by <laughs> that one <laughs> um, but if there is anything you want to see like little bits and pieces let me know and I can probably um, try and show you um, I have got a tutorial on my channel of how I knit socks two at a time I don't normally knit two at a time anymore um, I might try again actually but then what I find is that instead of having sort of one ball left over from knitting a sock I end up with two smaller balls that obviously are split in half and I think well what am I going to do with these tiny little balls where with this I could probably do something with um, I don't know uh, but crocheting this yarn I did find that I was noticing all the little colours so there's like lots of yellow there's a pink in there as well and there was quite a bit of pink in the ruffle um, and I was noticing like as it was going round the hook all different colours um, so yeah you do definitely notice the difference in crochet and knitting I think um, yeah anyway that's that I'm gonna go and get washed and dressed now <laughs> um, and then we're probably gonna go out it's still very snowy it's not as cold now though so well not in here anyway so um, but I'm gonna go and make another drink make some food and we're gonna get ready to go out So we're now at the unit and I've got a hat on, I've got a scarf on, I've got a jumper on, expecting it to be thick snow. Where's the snow? Where is the snow? <laughs> um, it just looked a bit frosty here and not so much snowy. Um, most of the fields are clear but like Ian said that um, it's mainly marshland ran this way so Obviously the ground is always wet anyway, so the snow will probably not stay snow, it will go to water and just go icy. Um, but yeah, I was really expecting it to be really bad here, I don't know. Uh, but it's not, so Ian's gonna put the, his bumper back together, put his bumper on, he's got his lights with him and stuff. Not put my bumper on. Oh, you're not putting it on? You're just putting it together? Putting it together, I'm taking the wings off, so I can put the bumper on. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I told you all this. Yeah, he did. Anyway, we're just psyching ourselves up to get back out of the van. Or get out of the van. So. I've got my coat with me as well, but I don't think I'm going to need that. <clears throat> don't know. I thought I'd put a hat on. This is the one that I met one that I made um, I can't remember the name of it I'll put it on the screen um, I was gonna put my vintage vibes hat on but it's a bit thin where this one's double knit um, this yarn was from 
Jonitso, I think. Um, I got from Southern Mall Show last year, I think. Um, so I thought I'd put this hat on, see how I get on with it, and I think it's really comfortable actually. It's a more of a beret style, but it's not a very big beret, and I've got my hair in a bun at the back. Anyway, we'll get out soon. So this is Ian's very, very sorry looking for itself car. <laughs> um, this is the progress, which is not much. Uh, there's lots of stuff down there. I don't want to show too much of the garage, but there's not really that much in here, to be honest. Um, all the other stuff's down there. Um, so yeah, Ian was waiting for this to be painted and this to be painted. He's dropped it off. So, and that's just all nuts and bolts. So yeah, it's um, slow, slow, slow progress, but stuff is getting done slowly. Um, so we're gonna do bits and pieces and uh, go from there. So it's very dark, we're on our way home. Um, Ian's fitted the door lock. It, it's very, very dark, isn't it? <laughs> um, he's fitted the door lock. He's fitted uh, the grills in the bumper, then to realise that the bumper has still got white specks in it from the primer. So he's not a happy bunny. We're on our way home. Um, we're going to get some dinner and just chill for the evening. I don't know what we're getting for dinner yet. We haven't discussed that. Pizza Hut. Oh, we're getting Pizza Hut, are we? Oh, are we? <laughs> I don't know. Should we go and pick it up? <laughs> um, so. Yeah, he's, he's messaged the bloke and said basically, right, what's going on? The bumper's got loads of white on it, um, so I would just wait for a reply. Um, I'm surprisingly very warm in my hat. I didn't realise a hat could keep you so warm. I don't really wear hats. Um, you may know by now, I never ever wear a hat because I think I'm silly, but it's keeping me warm and that's all I care about. And all I've got is my jumper on, my cowl, and my hat. So I've got trousers on as well, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna make our way home and I will see you when we get there. So while we was out today, I have I there, guys, done... <laughs> Ian's <Eating, laughs> mucking about. <laughs> um, I have completed all the sections other than the toe of my first sock. Um, and if I had done the toe today and finished, I would have been caught up. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm going to do the toe and cast on for the second sock and do the cuff and I will be caught up. So I'm quite pleased with that actually. Um, I think it looks really nice without poking myself in the eye with a needle. Um, I think they look really nice. So these are my shawlography socks. Don't look nothing like shawlography, but um, it's the yarn that I used for that. <laughs> um, I didn't knit on anything else. Um, but I'm going to go to bed shortly, so I thought I'd come on and end the vlog and show you what I worked on. We had kebab for dinner, it was really nice. So much there though. Um, it didn't even look like I touched my food. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Um, if there's anything else um, you want to see or if you have any questions and stuff for uh, like tutorials or I don't know just bits and pieces that you might want to see um, leave them in a comment down below and I see what I can do if I can or I can't and whatnot so we'll see how that goes anyway thank you for watching and I shall see you tomorrow bye